Okay, here we go. Evidently the beer can has disappeared or somewhere uh, off the track, so we're going to send these guys out. We got 26 riders scheduled to go. And we're going to see if Jed Stupak can uh, take control of the races. He has all season long here. And away they go into turn number one. Keep relying on bike number 899. He should be up in the front. Jed Stupak on that Yamaha. And they all get through in pretty good shape. Oh, one rider's down already in turn number one. Got a rider down in turn number one already, kicking up some dust. We're going to red flag the race. We got a rider down, and uh, the bike is in a very uh, bad impact area, so we're going to red flag the race. The race has been red flagged. eyes down on turn number one and hope and pray these guys get through in pretty good shape. This is Sunday, so it's okay to have a few prayers. Here we go. Hold on your hat. They're all going to make it through in pretty good shape this time. Ooh, look out, but they all get through in good shape. That's good. Good to see that. Now we're going to get six laps under our belt after all. Evidently, he's the fastest bike out on the racetrack right now. Let's see if he can work his way around the uh, leading group. Boy, this is going to be a pretty exciting race. We've got about nine, ten riders all have a chance at the lead right here. And we're going to pick up the numbers and names for you as they come by to complete lap number one. The bike that was in second now just took over the lead. That may be Jeff Stubeck. We'll find out. Bike number 899. Here they come there, uh, around turn number nine. David Solis out in front. Dave Solis out in front, 929 running in second spot. It sounds like that's Jed Stupak out in front, bike number 899. He was leading, not Dave Solis. Todd Rawson on the Kawasaki running in second spot. And running in third spot, bike number 118. That was Troy Rao, and he's doing a good job up there. He's only got one point, but that's going to boost him up in the standings. And running in fourth spot, bike number 960, Jim Runyon on the Kawasaki. So uh, a lot of these novices uh, doing a good job running up there toward the front. A lot of these novices with no points doing a good job and out in front. It's Jed Stupak out in front, and we've got in the first four positions the Yamaha, Kawasaki, Yamaha, Kawasaki in that order as they came by the uh, complete lap number one. And right now, Jed Stupak is starting to open up his lead now as he goes down the uh, back straightaway. And we'll try and pick up more numbers names for it. We've got a terrific battle for about fifth spot back here between about six riders. They are really swapping positions back and forth, and we got a great novice race underway. These guys getting good experience out there racing against their own kind. We'll try and pick up some more numbers and names for you this time around. Okay, rider at four just moved to second. Boy, 935 just made a terrific move and passed about five riders. That is uh, Joe Savacci, and he just moved up into uh, it looked like third position, but it's still Stubeck out in front. And moving also up uh, through the pack was Troy Rao. He's now up into second spot. And so we've got a really change of positions here. We've got a Kawasaki, Yamaha, and Suzuki now in that order as, uh, as it looks like Stupak still holding on to the lead, but now... Uh, Rao 
has come out of nowhere out of the pack. And uh, also bike number 935 on the Suzuki, Joe Savachi, he has moved up in the third spot. Stubeck's lead is going to be challenged here. In fact, it could be Troy Ra that's going to try and challenge him for the lead. Stubeck, I think, has won every one of these races, and of course, he transfers up uh, regardless. But uh, Troy Ra has one point only to his name, and already uh, starting to uh, close in on the leaders. They come out after number nine. We got a terrific battle for third place, though.
Rider down in turn number one. The boss of one of your leaders, probably the fourth or fifth place runner. Rider's up and uh, looks like he's starting to get up. Yes, he's up and okay now, just a little dazed. But he's walking away from his motorcycle. And it looks like uh, Jepson's going to get the checkered flag under the yellow. Hillary Oldfield to the sanction office, please. We need Hillary Oldfield to the sanction office, please. Here comes Stupak. He's going to come down and get the checkered flag. And let's see if uh, Sabachi held off Glenn Jepson. That's the Suzuki Ninja duel. Sabachi looks over his uh, shoulder, but he's going to he's going to take second spot. The Suzuki gets second. Jepson gets third on the Ninja. 9.89 at Salvador Trevino gets fourth. Then comes 8.61. Doug Kirk coming up there at the very end on the Yamaha to capture fifth spot. Mike's still laid over there in turn number one. As soon as they pick it up, we'll find out uh, who that is. 